let's play some more Fallout 4. For today, I would like to release my secret project of home plate in Diamond City. Now just have a look at this. I have been kind of working my ass off to set everything up. I'm just going to show you bits by bits. Just all the way around. Ain't that cool? Put some guns on the wall, put the magazine in the racks. In setting up all kinds of stuff, I'm not actually done, but I think it's good as it is. And a lot of stuff done, and I will tell you in a second a little bit of a story. But all the things are laying around. First things first. You might can see that this part down here has to do with Far Harbor. Because of the Vim Power Armor, the Vim Drinks. And of course the yellow bottles here being of the Children of Adam. Garden gnomes, lobster rolls, and these hanging buoy. These kind of stuff I've got down here. I've got the flags of children of atoms. And I like this a lot what I've done here. And I really wanted to separate this part from the nuka world over there. So I just decided I would like to have it kind of around the corner. So you really... Get in a warm and cozy area down here. I think it worked out pretty well. I just placed all kinds of Vim drinks in here. And the only thing that I really saved up from this place, what was already here, are these uh, cones, the wheels, and this shopping cart. I just dumped some stuff in here. And I think this is a nice place under the stairs because I really didn't know what to place else underneath here. And I wanted to have some items down here, like this giddy cup buttercup. It took me tons of time to actually get this thing down here, because you can simply not pick this thing up because it's too heavy to carry. Even so with fuck with a power armor. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't expect it to actually pick it up. So I just had to drop it. Well, that's even a better place. So I couldn't get it more to the back because then it would spawn somewhere over there. If you're too close up to a wall. I've got all the bobble hats down here. And I got some of these wheels and cones. Oh yeah, and I even saved these things up. I just place it all kinds of stuff where it could be fitted. Got some of the other power armors upstairs and Nick Valentine. Because I didn't want his ass to be in my way. And yeah, I got some special items. Like, I've got this clean globe down here. I've got this restored desk fan, and I've got a lot of more items. Unused ashtray. These are really these special items. And I had this thing, by the way, uh, onto here. And yeah, shit. That is one thing I wanted to say. Don't drop anything in the sink down here because it will fall through. And you won't be able to get it unless you, you know, remove that whole bench. And there are ways to actually rotate stuff. Uh, I know kind of now how you should pick it up. Like if you would, uh, yeah, not like that. It, it depends on the angle of the product and how you are. Like I know now for sure this is the right angle to pick it up. But else it will go... Uh, how can you say that? The other direction? It won't go like straight, but let me just drop it down there. Might be a nice thing for you guys to show. Like you see now it goes like this. And it's very difficult to, you know, place it like that. Well, you really have to mess around with this. And yeah, I messed around so much with it that I kinda know the angle. It's almost good. I've got some more stuff down here. We got some institute stuff laying on here. And yeah. I'll just put on turn on the light. 
And now look at this. I've got so many of these 10 millimeter pistols of these legendary ones. And I even believe I have one more, but it, you know, it doesn't fit on it anymore. These are all legendaries or, you know, just special looking ones. Uh, the same goes for this wall or special looking ones or legendary ones. These ones. There's so many of these. Uh, yeah, this Ghoul Slayer Shish Kebab, there is one episode where I need to pick up dampening coil for the Chinese submarine. And then I killed some dudes and got this Shish Kebab weapon. And then I told you guys that I already have one and that is this one. And I got more of these weapons. Now the funny thing is also with this Western revolver that, you know, it doesn't look correct. I don't know if that is funny, but it's up to you. Uh, I wanted to have a silver shroud part down here, but I cannot undo the silver shroud so just yet. So, what I wanted to plan also in this episode, after I showed everything, I just wanted to finish off silver shroud, and so I could just put the suit onto this thing, and then it's, you know, silver shroud and Nick Valentine with this thing in the background and police. Now oh, there's a little bit of detective uh, area down there. Uh, I've yeah, I've got all these magazines on here. Uh, of course, it's not finished because I need to find a lot more. Uh, yeah, this is just purified water and stuff. Uh, I was actually planning on to fill this all up with different ammo boxes and different kind of ammos. But uh, it would take me a ton of time, uh, since you already seen it cost a little bit of time to actually get the uh, buff out straight onto there. And I wanted to play some grenades and, and you know, just some special things all over the shelf down here. But I figured out it would take me tons of time. I've got here a lot more weapons and special weapons. Let's turn this on. I've got this flamethrower. Minigun and the Nuka Nuka Launcher. Got this Rocket Girl here on a stand. I've got the Sweeper, which in case I just took from the Institute. Uh, token Dispenser. I think it's very funny. You can actually use the Nuka World stuff uh, also in here. You cannot use everything, but it won't do. Ah, uh, the Diner. Got here some crispy squirrel bits. And a last dinner plate, uh, you know, a lot of stuff I just took from the Institute. I thought it would be handy. You got the special Institute food package and pretty wide water. Uh, here we have a bar with some items onto there. Uh, even a baseball bath in the corner, you know, for troublesome customers. And yeah, I could have placed a lot more items around, but it would take me tons of time. Here I have the Nuka Cola Power Armor. Very nice. And I should have a. Yeah, here it is. Preserved uh, cigarette package. I placed it on here. I don't know why it fell off. Uh, yeah, this is like a uh, brand looking cigarette package. Clean, I mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, a lot more stuff in now. I got some of the pack statues. Got a jukebox, I just turned this off because I'm not in the mood to, you know, get uh, copyright bullshit. I wanted to play some stuff on here, but then I figured out that this thing would go through it and then it would fall off. Um, but I've got here in clean recorder, clean wake master alarm clock and an undamaged camera. Like just more the special stuff. Uh, I've got this Kami Wacker on here. You know, you can just play this game. You just put in a token. You can get tickets. Uh, instead of you can all the way go to the Nuka World. You can make these balls. And basketballs. Oh yeah. That is what I was busy with. I had actually a lot of fun with the most of these things. Especially with this area, I like it so much. 
And yeah, up here I just, you know, I just place a few power armors that I could not place down there. Because there is so much more stuff I have and the point is you cannot really do such a thing at the settlement. You, you could, but the problem is, is that, you know, settlers or even your companions would just grab stuff like, hey, I found something, well, this shit is already yours. And, you know, they would... You know, walk everywhere, they throw it on the ground, and that's just real ignorant. You know, I had dog meat once here, and you know, he was just grabbing stuff, throwing stuff on the ground. Um, this is just really my dump, I'll just dump all the special things in here. Uh, I might have should put more aid stuff into the workbench, but I figured out if I just use too much stuff, um, meanwhile playing this game, it would get lost. And over here I got a lot more stuff. Uh, this is actually my stuff that I'm using. I just dumped everything in here I, which I could. So you know I could just grab weapons without having to lose my own weapons. And where the hell are they? Same goes with my armor. And the house I'm just gonna grab all this shit. And I need to find a different hat. I'm seeing this. For Nick Valentine. I cut the same suit down here. For this guy. But I need to have a different hat. I really want this to be, you know, look like Nick Valentine. I want this to be, look like, like me. Hello? Hello. How does it not work like that? Yeah. I really want this suit to be on there. So in this case, I would just like to finish off the silver shroud. So I could just undo the stuff and just hang it on to the mannequin. And since I have like four more episodes to go, which I guess this one is one of the four, before ending the game I really would just, you know, like add it there so I can just have peace. So Nick, get your fat ass with me. Need to do some missions. Hey, I'm listening. Come on. Good plan. Yes, good plan. Get your fat ass over here. And one thing <laughs> I like a lot about this home plate area, this is one of the only places I know. Do we have to go all the way there? Uh, which in case you can just fast travel out of it without you have to be outside. So the optional mission here is assassinate Shelly Taylor. And oh boy, where on earth is my Quattro rocket launcher? Like this is one of these things I mean. Now it's gone, it's somewhere, I have no freaking clue where it's at. Okay, we can just assassinate Shelly, this is something I want to do real quick. And also one thing, I know there are uh, ghouls in the building because I've been there before. Ah, oh, that's where you come from. Why did the say already like when I came in here? There was a ghoul in that area and now it's gone. Hello, Shelly. Hey there. P please, don't come any closer. You have something else to say? I don't know you. Just, just go away. Well, in that case, I'm sorry. You just have to say. I have to assassinate you, so you just have to say something. Collect association payment. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. She didn't say anything. In this case, we have two options. Optional, collect assassination payment. Listen to the silver shroud in Good Neighbor. What? I wonder, is this in Good Neighbor? You know, it's a little bit different. Let's spawn out here and, you know, collect the reward. And then listen to the silver shroud. See what's up with the rest of the stuff. What the dick do shit? Oh yeah. I thought he wanted to play a hard on the ball. Apparently not. Hope that it ain't a dog. Does 50 points additional radiation damage. But wait, what? 
I thought this thing already does radiation damage. So this thing does 100 damage. That's insane. Right? 100? Or am I? So that's 150, 60, 70. Wow, this thing, man. I'm going to need to upgrade this ass. It's going to be one hell of a powerful thing. I, you know what? I can use that for my big battle, upcoming big battle. That's a good idea. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one metal. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. That's a nice of you guys. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yes, you boy. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadow. Oh, we need to go in here. Yo, Hancock. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Looking for work. Work, huh? Mm. Mm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Yeah, okay, but this is not with Silver Shroud, right? Meet with Hancock Ash the Shroud. Yeah, but I am. Mayor Hancock? Hey, I don't mean to bitch, but aren't you supposed to be heading to Pikmin Gallery for me? Something else you need? I don't... I don't get it, man. I am Mr. Silver Shroud, but I can just put my power armor off. Who freak is operating in good neighbor? And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the Mike Den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud, to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone. He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holing up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up. Until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment. But no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin. And I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Okay, that works a lot better. So kill Smiling Kate, kill Norty. Let's just do that. So we need to go to here. Which in case we can spawn at what customer electrics. And we need to be here, which in case we can spawn at Bunker Hills. Well, 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 where are you guys at, huh? Yeah, I hear that. You hear it too? Because I'm about to kill you. Hey. 
Why are you hiding over there? You scared, huh? You are scared. Stop right there. Oh, well, well, well. Let's have a little chat, huh? No funny business. No. You know what? <laughs> Let's smack your brains in pieces. Hey, smiling Kate. If it isn't the boy behind the costume. You've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud. Making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. Uh -huh. Now it's time to rip your goddamned heart out! Hey! <laughs> A bit of waste of ammo. <laughs> Let's find Ken. Ah, Ken is our uh, radio guy. I see. Huh? I thought it was our radio guy. Okay. Kent. Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. Oh. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Calm yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Okay. Well, for this time. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Do it, Shroud. Do it. Oh, my knee. Ah! Tick tock, Shroud. Don't keep me waiting. We got business that needs finishing. Here's a Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it. Can't. Stay with your dirty hands off can. Let's save this guy. We need to be all the way out there. All shit. Now my problem is, why I am all knowing, is because I remember this spot has one of the spots where I multiply suiciders. Like, yeah. There's one. Yep, there's number two. I don't think we're alone. You dead? Nope. Oh. Now he is. I, I never forget this place, man. Like, you see? That, that, this is something you never forget. <laughs> don't fold one of them, right? I think there are... I don't know what's actually in here. I think rules. Besides these uh, dudes. Yeah, look at that. There's something down there. Maybe it's a glowing one. Maybe it's just a rat dodge. Only raiders come? Can't believe that. Yo, raiders come. Okay. I wanna talk with you! I'm gonna say it again. Hold, assholes! Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. What do you want, Sinjin? We'll get to that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know, you're human. And you're weak. You came here, and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. He's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then, I'm going to Good Neighbor. And kill every last worthless bastard there. And burn the whole thing down. No one 
screws with Sinjin. You know what would really get to Kent? Killing his friend, his hero, right in front of him. Would you look at that? <laughs> Enjoy the show, Kent. After I'm done with the shroud, you're next. I. Fuck! Don't, idiots. <laughs> uh... That's too slow. Try to muscle in on me? This is what you get! This is what you get. One smack in the face with my hammer. So, what you want now, huh? You dick face. Yo, brother Kent. Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. That was close. I thought I was done for. For sure. I just give up on all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You... you're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to Good Neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. Okay, 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 okay. Meat and cocker shot, yeah. Kent. Go ahead. I just need time to recover. You know? The deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. Wow. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. Ah! It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This. This means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. Well, I've completed it. That's what this means. It's done. It is done. A new player in Good Neighbor. Yeah, I don't have any time for uh, another blah 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 and stuff and things. Welcome to our fun and games. Mm -hmm. Crap, I don't have any of these Valentine hats. Like... <laughs> now I'm going to need a Valentine hat, but I don't have any in my chest. I'm going to need something that looks like this. I hope the shop is open. Well, I cannot find any hat so far that Nick Valentine is wearing himself. So I changed it up to a cowboy hat. And I've got the silver shroud onto the armor rack. And now, this home plate feels finished. Thanks for watching. Liberty Prime, back online. Alright, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module. Online. 